Welcome to Depeche Mode Jeopardy in the Depeche Mode Global Fan Group with guest host Jenna Rose Robbins. Our special guest contestant today from DMK and Spirits in the Forest, Ticket Schrader. Joined by Herman Bejarano, Mike LaJoy, Ray Luna, and Loretta Wright. Thank you all for joining us. And now here's your host, Jenna Rose Robbins. Welcome to game two of Depeche Mode Jeopardy. Let's meet our contestants. From New York by way of Buenos Aires, we have Herman Bejarano, a manager of mobile software development and a triathlete. From Seattle, Washington, Mike LaJoy, a visual designer from Microsoft. From Hacienda Heights, California, we have Ray Luna, a cameraman who works concert production and award shows. From the Depeche Mode stronghold of Los Angeles, we have Loretta Wright, a therapeutic massage therapist. And our special guest, Dickon Schrader, a creative director from Bogota, Colombia, currently living in New York City. With his two eldest children, Mila and Corbin, Dickon performs as Depeche Mode cover band DMK, who were featured in Spirits in the Forest. Now, welcome everyone. We'll hear more from our contestants after round one. In the meantime, Rob, let's go to the board. Before we started, uh, we flipped a five-sided coin. Loretta won, so she gets to choose first. And our categories are first lines, you'll see some lyrics, you have to name the song, soundtracks and compilations, 101, Andy Who, album by one song. You'll get the name of the song and you have to name the first album on which it appeared. So Loretta, you can start us off, you get to choose. Can I ask a question real quick? It shouldn't these sure. be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500? That was Jeopardy 25 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Loretta, okay. you go. So Andy Hu looks pretty interesting. Andy Hu for 200. Before joining up with Martin to form Composition of Sound, Fletch and Vince formed this band. Loretta. Uh, no romance in China. No. Correct. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Um, let's do Andy Who again for 400. What is that? In 101, Fletch described the members' roles this way. Martin's the songwriter, Alan's the good musician, Dave's the vocalist, and I do this. Loretta. I'm the, uh, I'm the, what is, I'm the uh, tiebreaker. Sorry, nope, you're out oh. of time. Next person, Dickon. What is, I bomb around. Correct. All right, let's do an <laughs> album by one song for 200. Sacred. Come on. What is music for the masses? Correct. You choose. Um, first line, first line, first line for two hundred. Come with me into the trees. Get them on. What is a strip? Correct. Let's do first line for 600. I'm going to take my time. I have all the time in the world. Dickon. Um, what is, uh, it's no good. Correct. Uh, first lines for 400. Here is a song from the wrong side of town. Their mom. Wow. What is home? Correct. Their mom, you choose. Um, yeah. Soundtracks and compilations for 600. Pleasure Little Treasure Glitter Mix appeared on the soundtrack for this 1988 Michael J. Fox film. Mike. What is Bright Lights Big City? 
Correct. Let's do soundtracks and compilations for 800. The best mode contributed the song for the soundtrack of Until the End of the World. Dickin. What is Death's Door? Correct. Let, um, let me see the board. Uh, first lines for 800. The things you do aren't good for my health. Mike. Um, oh, crap. Sorry, time's up. Next person was Dickon. What is dangerous? Correct. Dang it. Let's do first lines for a thousand. Someone will call, something will fall, and smash on the floor. Ray. What is the sun and the rainfall? Very good, you get to go. Oh, my buzzer finally worked here. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> let's do 101. Uh, uh, since I was at the 101 concert, let's do 101 for, gotta catch up here. How about 600? This director of the documentary of film passed away in 2019. Come on. Who is Penny Baker? I don't Correct. know if I need a full name, but. Nope, last name's usually okay on Jeopardy. I'll, I'll let you have it. It's not like there's too many other Penny Bakers out there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And he's from New York. So. You get to choose. Um, so I'll go by one song, 600. What's your name? Mike. What is speak and spell? Correct. Let's do album by one song for 800. The Dead of Night. Come on. What is Ultra? No. Oh. No. Uh, Dickon? What is Exciter? Correct. Let's do album by one song for a thousand. Broken. Dickin. Uh, what is uh, Delta Machine? Correct. Everyone's favorite album. Okay, you go again. Let's do 101 for 800. Oh, shoot, I did the wrong one, sorry. Actually, we can go back, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this Long Island radio station who helped in DM's rise to fame hosted the fan auditions, which took place at the nightclub Malibu. Mike. WDRE. Yes. What is, w, what is, what is WDRE? That is fine, yes. Oh, right. I had that one. Can, can, one. Uh, can I ask you a question real quick? Um, I don't think my second score got added. Um, what we can do, um, what? maybe uh, Nick, Rob, can we check the recording at, at the break? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll try to do that. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see, my board, right? Yes. Uh, 101 for 1000. In the film, bus kid Jay Serkin disparagingly refers to Axl Rose's band as this. Dickon. What is shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, in some ways, but no. Uh, Mike. What is Guns and Posers? Correct. Oh! <laughs> good one, I was Mike. close. I was close. That was a good guess. Same yeah. difference. <laughs> Guns and Posers. Uh, let's do soundtracks and compilations for 1,000. But Not Tonight appeared on the soundtrack for this 1986 film starring Daphne Zuniga. Mike. What is Modern Girls? Uh, Correct. I knew that one. I'm so I knew that one. <laughs> Freaking buzzer. Uh, let's keep going on soundtracks for 400. 
EM made their album debut on this compilation with the song Photographic. Right. What is some bizarre? More specific. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, close out soundtracks, 200. This popular non DM album single appeared on the soundtrack for Earth Girls Are Easy. Dickens. Wow. What is Route 66? Can you be more specific? Uh, what is Route 66 remix? Rob? If you're, you're looking for the full title, right? Well, are we going to be that specific? Um, I, I, would have, I wouldn't have necessarily had the full song, but it's up to you. It's your call. No, it's, no you're the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will give it to him. Okay. Yay! Yay. What is the answer? Oh, no, nobody knew that. Come on. <laughs> Rob probably did. I did, I did know yeah. that, yeah. <laughs> Rob did. I did, I did too. Um, all right, let's try Andy Who by a thousand. Name of Fletch's former restaurant, located in St. Oh. John's Wood, London, close to where the famous Abbey Road cover was shot. Oh. Come on. What is banana toast? Uh, no. No, uh, sorry. Oh, I remember. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is that, Van Gogh pub? No, Loretta. What is Hindu? Hindu? Ah, uh, Hindu. Uh, such a hard name to say. I, yeah. I don't have it. No matter how you pronounce it, it's not Hindu. It's Gascon. Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Why was I thinking E? <laughs> I've been there several times. I don't I'm, know why I thought in the restaurant across the street of the studio. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. Okay, I believe it's still Dickin. Uh, let's do album by one song for 400. It doesn't matter to Mike. What is Black Celebration? Correct. One hundred one for four hundred. Some credit or blame one hundred one with the rise of this now ubiquitous television genre. Dickin. What is reality TV? Correct. Nice. Uh, let's do Andy Who by six hundred. When Fletch fell ill during the exotic tour, he took his place. Come on. Dario Bamonte? Who is Dario Bamonte? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> we won't penalize you this round. Next, next round, we will penalize, but you got it. Thank you. You choose him, Mom. Uh, let's go 101, 200. The film chronicles the final leg of this concert tour. Dickin. Uh, what is the uh, music for the masses tour? Correct. And uh, let's do the last one, Andy Who by 400. In 2002, Fletch launches his own record label with this name. Dickin? What is Toast Hawaii? Correct. And that brings us to the end of round one. Thank you, everyone. Woo! Wow, we made it. <laughs> made it. Uh, it has 4,000. And I'm negative points. How did that happen? <laughs> and Herman has 200. And Loretta, negative 1,200. How did that happen? I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> Mike has 4,000. And Ray, uh, Rob, I didn't get that last. 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. <clears throat> Thank you. OK, great. So now we'll get to know our uh, contestants a little more. Herman, you're from Buenos Aires. You live in New York and are moving to Santa Monica next month. What's taking you out west besides the fact LA is one of the greatest DM cities out there? Well, it's a little bit of job and, and weather, obviously. I mean, a little bit of a change of life. That's pretty much. So let's call it a new life, <laughs> if you want. So. I know one good Argentinian restaurant off in LA, so if you ever look at but. Nice. I'll let you know. 
<laughs> and you mentioned you're a work in progress musician. Can you explain what that means? Well, I said that I was a frustrated, actually, a musician. <laughs> that means like all my life I wanted to learn how to play music uh, and I'm catching up now that I'm 40 something. Um, so pretty much that's it. Very good. Um, Ray, you were at the Rose Bowl concert, which inspired you to work in concert production. There yeah. are so many moving parts at a concert. Like what made you choose that specific occupation? Um, I was always a photographer since I was a kid. I studied photography and just the idea of being able to shoot the concerts and be up close with the band. So I started uh, started that pretty much, started pushing road cases right after the 101 tour ended up in uh, smaller productions and then found my way into concerts and award shows. I've been at the Beverly Hilton for almost seven years doing like Golden Globes and all those things. So fun stuff, you know, we get to work with a lot of celebrities and bands and things like that. So yeah, I did actually get to meet Depeche Mode through those channels too. I got to meet David and Martin in kind of ways. So it was nice, you know. What's your favorite part of the job now? Are you glad that you took this, this occupation? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fun. You know, you get to be there with all the glamour and glitz. You know, I've done to my seventh. I think I did seven Golden Globes in a row and all the, I've done the Oscars and the Emmys and not as a camera guy, but sometimes just building video walls or doing different things. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. You get to meet a lot of cool people and, you know, a lot of craziness behind the scenes getting it done. But yeah, it's fun. It's a good career. And you create Depeche Mode piano tutorials on your YouTube channel. How did you get started with that? Uh, well, my sister, her name is Melissa, but we call her Swiss Cheese. She wanted to learn how to play, uh, she was behind the wheel. So I uploaded a video like eight years ago just to show her. And I didn't even look at it. Eight years later, it had like 60,000 views. And then when COVID hit, I had it for downtime. So I'm like, okay. So I started with like Shake Disease and Enjoy the Silence, and, uh, but not tonight, all these songs. And it might help me with uh, somebody working on that one. So he helped me with that tutorial. <laughs> Thank you for walking me through that. So. Yeah, I just love teaching the songs to other people. So my little channel is growing. It went from 12 subscribers to like 300 and something in the last couple of months. It's kind of nice. You know? Good. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Mike, you played foosball against Martin Gore backstage in oh. 1994. I did. Who did you Oh, they kicked our butt because we weren't even looking at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you play? You said we. They kicked your butt. Uh, so a friend of mine uh, got me backstage. Um, and it was, it happened to be my birthday that day as well. Um, and, uh, Martin and, um, Andre, the, his bouncer guy, uh, they walked up and, and said, Hey, can we play? And we're like, mm -hmm. wow. and yeah, it was, it was surreal. It was literally surreal. Yeah, it's fun playing against them. They're very, very strict with their rules, though. I know because I used to play with them backstage too. And oh yeah, they, they're in, they're, they're intense. <laughs> even look like you're spinning. They're like, no, -uh, out of here, out of here. So yeah. Yep. Um. Uh, L Loretta, you fell in love with the band in 1986 after seeing "People Are People" on Video One, hosted by Richard Blade. What was it about the video that drew you in? Which, by the way, was the first video I saw of theirs too. Um. I think because it was black and white, it uh, it wasn't a love song. It was like, I don't know, I was starting that in that age of like contemplating, like, why is it like this? Or why is it like that? You know, you're going to church and you're like, why does God exist? This sucks. I don't want to go to church, you know, but that song kind of, I was in that questioning stage in my, in my life. And they were really hot, by the way. <laughs> so, um... I've never met any of the Depeche Mode members. I did get a chance to actually go work for a hotel where Dave Gone gets his massages while he's touring here. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to work somewhere like that. But uh, he gets, by the way, he gets two hour massages. <laughs> like every night before he goes on stage. Okay. Nathan, you mentioned that DMK has a new video in the works. Can you share anything about it? Uh, well, it's a video that we, it, it kind of tells us our story. Um, if you've seen Spirits in the Forest, you probably know what video it is. It's one that we've uh, always had to do and, and, and we got around to do it. Um, and uh, it's coming out very soon. We are in the post-production process and we are adding a few shots that we think uh, it needs. 
but it's very exciting because we're we're closing up our uh, a 10 year history. Our first video was in 2010. So so it, it, we've been doing this for 10 years and and uh, and uh, it's kind of a, a, a closure. I'm not saying it's going to be the last one, but it's uh, it feels like a, 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 like the, 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 the closing of something. Full circle. Full circle. Yes. And how did you feel when Martin mentioned that DMK was one of his favorite parts of the Depeche Mode Facebook takeover experience? Oh, I, I almost put my pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I was I was riding in a cab uh, in Bogota with Corbin and my other my my two little girls, and I saw that in Facebook, and I just started screaming like hysterically that the cab driver had to stop, like he thought I had taken some kind of drugs and I was <laughs> hallucinating or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just to hear your voice, your your name uh, on on Martin Gore's uh, lips, it's it's something out of this world. I can imagine. Okay, well, I hope you guys have calmed down a little bit. Take some deep breaths. Um, Rob, before we go to round two, do we did you get a chance to look at the scoring? So I have to have to address that there there's absolutely zero way for me to go back and rewind right now to see the scoring. So let's just play it out. And afterwards, if we'll go back and if there was something and it would have affected the final outcome, then we can address that later. But if not, then, then it's all good, so. Okay. I, I, have a, I have a question uh, about Jeopardy. When you answer a question and it's wrong, it takes away uh, that money from, yes, oh yeah. shit. I'm not going to, I'm not going to guess anymore. I didn't know I didn't, that either. <laughs> That's, I, I knew that, I, I that's knew that, how I lost I all that, my points. <laughs> I knew that Axel Rose question was a very long shot. I'm not going to take those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> all right. OK, so uh, Rob, please bring up the board for round two. OK, so this time around, our categories are song trivia, who wrote it, performance venues, Photographic. Now, a photographic that there are images, but the buzzer will not be unlocked until after the last word of the clue has been read. So in addition to the image, there is going to be something that is read as well. And then we have the ever popular potpourri, which is basically miscellaneous. It's all the clues that I wrote that I couldn't fit into another category. So it's et cetera, <laughs> miscellaneous right there. So that's what we got. So um, in the lead, we have uh, Mike and Dickon are tied, it looks like. So um, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, they are. I was just emphasizing, sorry. Um, so I guess what we'll have to do here, I didn't even realize that, um, we're going to say that uh, Dickon is number eight and Mike is number 10, and I'm just going to, Rob, say stop. Stop. 10. So that was Mike, I believe. Um, so that means you get to choose first. Okay. I think you have the wrong points again. So Herman should correct? be two hundred. Loretta's negative twelve. No, I mean on the on the on the cards. It's like four hundred to two thousand. It wasn't like two hundred. Well, second round goes 1, up. Thousand. Second round. Oh, is okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Never mind. Uh, let's go with photographic for four hundred. One of the most famous of DM photographs was shot in this famous Berlin venue. I'm, I'm buzzing. Okay, now I got it, it just came in. Uh, okay, it. okay. What is Hansa Studios? Correct. We were there together, oh. Jenna. You took I me that I picture. Took your, I took your picture. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken a lot of people's picture on that staircase. Let's um, do who, uh, who wrote it for 400. Two minute warning. Dickon. Who is Alan Wilder? Wow. Correct. Let's do um, who wrote it for 800. Boy, say go. Dickon. Who is Vince Clark? Correct. Dickon, you are quick, man. I'm on fire, bro. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> Let's do uh, who wrote it for uh, 1200. I want it all. Dickon. Who is um, Martin Gore? No. Uh, Who is 
Uh, Alan Walder? No. Or Alan Ray? It was Dave Gaughan. Yes, we're running out of options there. Uh, <laughs> All right, there's only one guy left. <laughs> Wasn't Daryl Bamante this time? <laughs> okay, wait, let me see what I want to do here. I'm going to go, I, I want to catch up. So let's do, sorry, do song trivia or potpourri. Should I take a chance on no? Let's go six. Oh, no, wait, how much money I got? Two, uh, let me go 1,200, half of it on. Oh, God, don't do that. Okay, song trivia. Uh, here we go. Come on, baby. The video for this song, directed by Julian Temple, was not included on the Some Great Videos VHS compilation because it was not well liked by the band. Mike. What is the meaning of love? God, good one, Mike. Wow, awesome. And by the way, there's no time limit on the rounds. I wrote all these questions. It took me forever. So we're doing every darn one of them. So keep going. <laughs> okay, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's do song trivia for 800. This song was nominated in the category of Best Dance Recording at the 2007 Grammy Awards, but lost to Justin Timberlake's Sexy Back. Dickon. Uh, what is Supper Well? Correct. Yes. You're awesome. <laughs> let's do awesome. Song, song trivia by, for 1600. This, the band's 12th UK single and first double A-side single, was released on the 29th of October, 1984. Mike. Oh. What is Blasphemous Rumors Somebody? Correct. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I knew that. Knew that one. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do performance venues for 400. The band set a record in 2017 when they sold out four nights at this L.A. venue. Mike. What is the Hollywood Bowl? Oh, I was there two nights. First and last. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that doesn't count for points, though. I know. <laughs> make my buzzer any faster here. <laughs> uh, let's do song, song trivia for 400. Both Martin Gore and Alan Wilder have said this song, released on the 16th of September, 1985, is one of their least favorite tracks the band had ever recorded. Mike. What is It's Called a Heart? Correct. Uh, song Trivia 2000. Obercorn, It's a Small Town, is named after a real-life location in this country where the band played a show in 1982. Come on. What is Germany? No. Uh, Ray? <laughs> oh, God, what is London? I don't know. What is England? I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess. I just lost a bunch Poland? of money. Oh, Sorry. my God. What, what is Poland? No. Nope. Oh. The answer is, what is Luxembourg? Uh, oh. The one time I get through, I go and lose two grand. Nice. Uh, still mine, right? Yep. Uh, let's do photographic 800. Oh, that was a blow it. Some of the iconic images for Sounds of the Universe were filmed in front of the Queen's landmark that was built for this 1964 event. Dickon. What is the World Fair? Correct. Let's, uh, let's try potpourri for 400. The day after the infamous warehouse riot in Los Angeles, Fletch was interviewed by this famous DJ, Mike. Who is Richard Blade? Correct. In other words, name an LA DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, right? Uh, let's do potpourri 800. Dave's second wife, Dickon. Uh, what is uh, T Teresa Conroy? Yes. Ah. Wow. Nice. All right. Let's do Potpourri 1200. Tour manager Andy Frank said the 101 stage was designed by Chip Monk, creator of the stage for this legendary festival. I don't want to guess. I don't want to lose all my points. I don't want to guess either. <laughs> I lost That's two grand already. Well, it's too I late. Right, show no, I, I, hey, 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 I buzzed in. Oh, okay. Sorry, the timer throws out. Mike, go ahead. Uh, what is Woodstock? Yes. Wow. 
Wow. I was going to say Grateful Dead. Give me a minute. Oh, God. Uh, Sheesh. Potpourri 1600. In May 2011, Dave celebrated 10 years of this. Ray. What is sobriety? Correct. Oh, How much was Amen. that worth? Let, okay. let me take a I sip. Let me take a sip back. of wine. I have some <laughs> dignity back. Okay, I don't want to lose a bunch of money, so I'm going to go cheap. We're going performance venues for. No, never mind. We're going to go. Who wrote it for 16? Oh, come on. Eternal. Uh, that Herman. was Martin. Herman. Was Monty Moore? Correct. Oh, I'm sorry. I just said it like an idiot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, well, don't tell you. I just like man. said I it. Knew it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who wrote it for 2000? Freeman. Dickin. Um, what is Martin Gore? Or who is? What is? What he works too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is? Yeah. <laughs> what is? I don't know. Uh, when you look at those let's do. Uh, let's do photographic 1200. In 1993, Martin was arrested in Denver and pled guilty to charges for this. Ray. What is drunk driving? No. Loretta? Uh, what is peeing in public? <laughs> no. Herman? What is uh, disturbing noises? <laughs> or... What was that? I, I was saying something about like making noises or disturbing noises or like, I don't know. Oh, exactly disturbing. the term. Rob? He was like in a hotel making really like a mess. So. Rob, you get to decide. That's that's not the <laughs> technical term. It I know. Give, I know give, give us a, what would, <laughs> what would uh, a legal term for that be? Um, oh, loud noises, a legal term for loud noises. I want to try. Yeah. I'll take a second guess. <laughs> get my money back. My, my time's up. On well, but I know what it was. <laughs> All right, everybody who's already answered, uh, no one else has buzzed in, so I guess we can just we can say, go ahead. It's totally conduct. Oh, I was going to say disturbing. Uh, uh, yeah. I was going to say that, yeah. I would have I would got it wrong anyway. I would have said disturbing the bees. So there you go. Okay, uh, I forget who had control of the board. Herman. Herman. Oh, that went to me, actually? No, you, you um, didn't get the answer right, but you still have control because nobody got the answer. Okay, gotcha. Um, so performance venues for 1600. The world we live in and live in Hamburg was shot at this venue. Loretta. Oh, uh, what is Germany? <laughs> the world we uh, that's a really large venue and no. Um, no, no, never mind. <laughs> I, never mind. Okay, no Sorry, one else has come in. Um, okay, well, the answer is. What is he? Yeah, awesome. there we go. I was going to say that. <laughs> I didn't memorize that part. I memorized the live in Amber, 1984. Oh, I still have it, right? Yep. How do you say that? Um, <laughs> Let's do performance wow. venues for 1200. Is it tight? Bless you. Moments before the band was due to go on stage, Dave fell ill with a bout of gastroenteritis in Terra Vibe Park in this city. Oh God, I hope I'm getting it right. Ray? Is it in Tel Aviv? No. Oh, really? I, I thought he got sick in Tel Aviv. No, okay, no one else buzzed in? You can show the answer. What is Athens? Oh, Greece. Oh, so and Tel Aviv, great. Well, right. Tel Aviv kicked off the tour. It was Tel Aviv that kicked off the tour and well, let's let's keep going with the let's keep going with the venues for two thousand. God darn it! To promote the Global Spirit Tour, DM gave a promotional concert at this Berlin venue in front of one thousand fans and streamed live on the internet. Oh, I saw okay. that. What is the Wild Boon? No. Oh! There were more than a thousand fans at the Wild Boona. Come on. Join us, Dick, and come down to the low score, people. <laughs> What is the <laughs> telecom forum? <laughs> I thought that it was a telecom thing. It was a telecom thing, but it was not. That was not the venue. So ah, I'm sorry. Okay. So the answer is what is the Funk House? 
Daniel and I oh. were both there. Yeah. Okay, keep going. What is the phone call? Um, performance venue is 400. The band played many of their early shows at this venue, the first pub in the world with its own record label. Ray. What is the Rum Runner? No. Oh, really? I don't know, really. I said I was a Depeche Mode okay, fan, yeah. right? Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> we we okay. all said that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, the answer is, what is the Bridge House? Oh. Oh. Rum Runner is something in their history, though. I think so, that's what normal. let's go with the Popery for 2000. Okay, I'm coming back with a vengeance. Trip producer Tim Simonon always goes by this alias. Also goes by this alias. Sorry. Uh, oh, wait. Right? Not... Uh, what is Bomb the Bass? Correct. Oh, yeah. Photographic 1600. After playing a historic concert behind the Iron Curtain, the band took a number <laughs> of photos in this city. Many of the photos appeared in the following year's official calendar. Loretta. What is Berlin? No. Ah, come on. No, no one else? Oh, is it Paris? Wait. Have you, wait, it was, wait. What is Prague? Prague. Prague. Yeah. Prague. Okay, and the last one. The band performed this song with chickens on the German variety show Bananas. <laughs> what is the you? Correct. Oh, Am right. I in the positive? As long as I'm in the positive, I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm positive. I think I have the most negative money point. in my account. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of round two, and we have. Uh, Mike, considerably in the lead here. Uh, just give me a second to write down these points here, uh, Rob. Ray has 600. Loretta, unfortunately, you cannot actually participate in the next one because you're in the That's negative. That's cool. Point, but um, <laughs> you, you can join us just to play for fun. I, I'd love to have you just come join us for fun. Same thing with Herman. OK. OK. So. Not Mike, I'll, I'll bet you, I'll bet you all my money plus my car. Mike, come on, <laughs> put, up, put your keys on the table, bud. Do you have the numbers, Jenna? I do. Um, I didn't write down the two negatives, but I have the other two. But thank you. I wrote them all down, but. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, everyone, take a deep breath. Relax again. Okay, we're gonna have a little cool down time. Uh, Rob's gonna play a few videos for us, so you guys can just chill out, relax, shake your hands out, and get ready for Final Jeopardy, and think about how much you want to bet. The legendary Hollywood Bowl opened in 1922. It's hosted concerts for some of the most iconic artists in music history. From Frank Sinatra, the first pop artist to perform there in 1943, to the Beatles in 1964 and 1965, The Doors and Hendrix in 1968. Legendary modern artists like The Cure, New Order, and Nine Inch Nails have all performed there. Yet not one artist had sold out four consecutive nights at the Hollywood Bowl until Depeche Mode in October 2017. Join me as I revisit these four amazing October nights on Mode Block on Reflex Radio this coming Monday, October 12th at 8 p.m. Pacific Time. Listen at thereflex.com slash reflexradio. Get your copy of Faithful and Devoted, Confessions of a Music Addict by Jenna Rose Robbins. Available now at amazon.com. The winner of this episode of Depeche Mode Jeopardy will receive a copy of the book Faithful and Devoted, Confessions of a Music Addict by Jenna Rose Robbins, a photographic print from Spirits in the Forest star Christian Furaru as seen in the movie, and a set of Egg Shakers, official merchandise from DMK. And the final winner of the championship will receive an exclusive Depeche Mode photographic print signed by Brian Griffin. Back to you, Jenna. Beautiful. Ready for Final Jeopardy. Everyone have their paper and pen ready? Uh, yes. Monster, you're going yep. to send me, and only me, the bet. And I'm going to remind everybody what their scores are. Uh, Ray, you have 600. Dickon, you have 6,800. And Mike, you have 11,200. So Dickon, he is, you can catch up to Mike if you bet the right amount, depending on what he bets. Um, and 
Ray, we'll see. Who knows? You never know. There's something I've seen a lot of Jeopardy shows where the third place person right. comes out on the end. So let's go to it. Uh, the other two will join us for fun. Um, and so Rob, let's see what our category is. And when it, when you guys, when you see the category, please send me your bets. Oh, we see the category. So the category is partnerships. Place your bets and please send them to me in the chat. Yeah, I got a, a chat So I think I'm just waiting for mics. No pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure at all, Mike. We're all, uh, the whole world just waiting for you. Yeah, I know. They always you have are. all the time in the world. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Mike, bet 11,000 something or whatever you got. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, all right. OK, I have the bets locked in. Let's see the question, Rob. Since 2010, the band has joined forces with this watch brand to support Charity Water. Good luck, contestants. with our two uh, complimentary passes here. We're gonna to go to Loretta first. Loretta, what was your answer? Uh, is it charity? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no I don't know, sorry. Herman, can you hold up your paper? Uh, yeah, hold on. I'm writing it because I remember now I was kind of like <clears throat> forgetting the name. Uh, here. Let's see. Oh, Hublot, yes, that is correct. Oh. Okay, so next I will we have go one. <laughs> Ray, can you hold up your paper? Uh, I guessed it's uh, was a tag viewer, but it's not right. Okay, so you bet one dollar, so you go down to five ninety nine. Right. And next we go to Dickon. Dickon, what did you have? What is <laughs> Rolex? Rolex. <laughs> you bet everything, so you went they down. They do water. <laughs> yeah. And last but not least, we had Mike. Mike, you bet uh, you. Well, let's first show us your answer. What if is you can read it. Correct. <laughs> and you bet $2,401, which brings you up to 13601 And you are today's Jeopardy champion. Yay. Nice job. Isn't that like right on the front of the website? That that's who they do their, they teamed up with? Probably. Oh, it yeah. took it took me like to the last second to remember that. <laughs> I was gonna say swatch. <laughs> so congratulations, Mike. Uh, I hope you guys all had fun playing. That's what it was all Yay! about. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Fun. Fun. Great game, everybody. That was fun. Realized when we have special everything I studied was not in any of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> So let's tune in next week um, for game three, which is the final game before the championship. Our special guest will be Brent Meyer, AKA Counterfeit Martin from the tribute band Strange Love, the Depeche Mode Experience. And after the credits roll, um, Rob is going to put a link to where everyone can join us in the drink and chat for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank See you, Jenna. Thank you, Rob. You guys did great. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. That was awesome.